Wells Fargo Championship, uh, won by Roy McIlroy. Bryson DeChambeau, Agent Zero, disliked by a lot of people within my constituents who are golfing friends of mine, mainly Kilby and a few others who say he's the douchiest douche of all douches. Uh, I mean, I think he is. <laughs> I think he's a bit douche. He's not my cup of tea. I just, I think Kilby legitimately hates him. Uh, Alan, I don't know how you feel about him or uh, or Dave. But uh, sorry, uh, I was reading something. What was the name? Or who were you talking about, Roy? Bryson DeChambeau. Oh, Bryson De- DeChambeau. Yeah, yeah. It's. I mean, it's built into his name. I, I'll hate him now that much. I mean, I could. I could see why, like someone insecure in the fact that they only drive a ball 270 or or something like that would fucking really hate them. Uh, but I don't know. I'm not insecure about myself. Uh, so, yeah. But, I mean, generally speaking, he's kind of a douche. He wears that douche hat, which lends himself to, to douchery. Uh, right. Again, his name uh, just fits with that. Like, even if he was, like, a super ho- cool dude and my buddy, I'd still probably call him Dushambo. Um well, so, yeah. there's there, there are a lot of things that he does that lends itself to to being not liked by your common fan. I don't particularly root for him. Yes, he's not my cup of tea, et cetera, et cetera. But uh, so anyway, he um, he comes out the gate first two rounds, Friday, Saturday, doesn't shoot too well, assumes that he misses the cut. All right. Gets on a plane, a private plane from Charlotte to Dallas, only to find out when he land like, hey, buddy, you made the cut. Then flies back to Charlotte to shoot uh, back-to-back 68s, uh, finishes, let's see here, do, 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 six shots back, tied for 11th, only to collect uh, $228,000. I, 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 it, it boggles my mind that this still that shit like this happens. Here we are, 2021, information age, PGA Tour. This I, If this happened in the 60s and Arnold Palmer was like, oh, yeah, all right, I'm going to take my... Uh, Take my Ford from, you know, Columbus, Ohio, back to, well, actually, he was from Pittsburgh. Oh, yeah, Columbus, Ohio to Pittsburgh. Sayonara, good night. <clears throat> and then they call him when he got there, and he was like, yeah, I'm not driving back. I'm not, I don't give a <laughs> fuck. I don't give a fuck. I missed the cut. I made the cut. I'm not driving back. Fuck you. Uh, but but how, how, how does this happen? And I find it amazing that he then got on a private plane from Dallas back to Charlotte, landed, and dropped, what, two four-unders? Whew. Yeah, well, I got to say that, like, Arnold Palmer, they would have been like, hey, man, we're going to get you a 30-pack of Bush Light and, uh, I don't know, 70 bucks to cover your gas, and we'll come on back. Like, it was a different era. This guy, what what, what did he finish? Did he win the whole thing? What $250,000. Nah, tied for 11th. Tied for 11th. Tied for 11th. Tied for 11th, and he made $250,000. I would fly the plane myself without a pilot's license or training to try to make two hundred fifty thousand dollars. You would roll the dice on fuck- landing. You're goddamn right, I would. <laughs> Come on, it can't be that hard. I I'd land on the course. I'd land on a fairway just to get back out there, dude. Come on, man. What other sport out there can you finish? I, you want to talk about subpar? Eleventh place and make more than I'll make. And let's see. One, two, three, and five. Bake as much as I'll make in five years. I know there's there's pitchers in in a single start that could uh, like Garrett Cole could fucking throw like three innings and give up ten, eleven, twelve earned runs, earn the loss, and and make more than you make in five years. Okay, that's fine. Fuck you. Either way, <laughs> well, you ask me. your burden, your proof. All right. <laughs> <laughs> the point is, like, why? Well, why would you do that? The information age, yippee dippee do. That's why. Because you can make two hundred fifty thousand dollars for being a shitty. Culprit. It wasn't so much the dro- the flying back. I find that fascinating, yeah. just by the fact that he can do that, uh, and that he he lives a lifestyle where that's uh, where that's doable, where that's um, you know that can happen. My that's, point was that, is that he like real, that, that he was, was probably the Puma jet. It, you know what I mean? Like, like it wasn't that was yeah. that was the fucking the Cobra jet, right? It wasn't it wasn't his. And Kerber sure. was like, yeah, just go fucking wear this new outfit and your stupid fucking hat and hit a ball 400 I think yards. What fascinates me is that in, he he and his uh, caddy and his agent were like, ah, well, we missed the cut. All right, time to get on the fucking plane. And then the cut, the cut line moved two shots, then made the cut sometime between Charlotte and Dallas. I guess he was flying over, I don't know, Mississippi, Alabama. Cut line moved. He then made the cut. He lands in Dallas like, hey, buddy. Yeah. 
You gonna play tomorrow? What the what? I haul ass back to fucking Charlotte. It it, it I don't know. Like the uh, the fact that this doesn't happen that often, especially this day and age, fascinates me. That's all. That's why I wanted to talk to you about it. Now you're well, giving was, me all this shit. Not gonna lie, though. Murder. He was probably bitching about something. He was probably whining too much to notice that the fucking cut moved because <laughs> he is kind of a fucking pain in the dick. So. Uh, yeah, I know I know nothing about this guy, and so while you guys were talking, like I looked up pictures of him, and I mean, come on, you should look at he the looked... fucking before and after. Yeah, you should. Have you well, seen the before and after yeah, stuff? Yeah, pull his? up the before and after. Actually, just do that now. Hold so on. over we'll COVID, wait. he uh, within a three month stint, he uh, he got all fucking juiced up, well jacked. Some. Oh no, I've seen. Thing. I saw pictures of him skinny, and then like kind of like a uh, uh, fucking like bad stereotypical frat boy to. Yeah. Fucking like Schwarzenegger arms out of nowhere. Yeah, and he, he thing that, that pisses me off about him is he he looks like that fucking uh, that twatty dude from uh, the Hunger Games, that Josh Hutcherson guy. Yeah, you know what I'm I talking about. That. I hate that guy's face. I don't know why.